Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to work through another reconstitution math question for nurses. So let's get right into it. Our reconstitution question for today is the following. The doctor's order reads vancomycin 500 milligrams IV BID. Our vial states that each vial contains one gram of vancomycin. For IV injection, add 9.8 mils of sterile water for an approximate total volume of 10 mils. After reconstitution, each milliliter contains 100 milligrams of vancomycin for IV use, not to be administered intramuscularly. After reconstitution, this vial may be stored in a refrigerator for 96 hours. So that's our doctor's order and our information from the vial. Now our questions are as follows. 1. How many mils of diluent will the nurse use for reconstitution? 2. What will be the final concentration of vancomycin after reconstitution? 3. How many mils will the nurse administer for each dose? And four, how many milliliters will the patient receive in one day? So question number one, how many mils of diluent will the nurse use for reconstitution? Diluent just refers to a substance used for diluting something, which in this case is sterile water. Now for this question, it's always a good idea to look back at the root of the order, which as we can see is IV or intravenous. Next, we look at our vial information, which tells us that for intravenous injection, like our order, add 9.8 mils of sterile water. So that's it, that's how many mils of diluent we need for reconstitution. Next, question number two, what will be the final concentration of vancomycin after reconstitution? And again for this question, we'll have to look at the information from the vial. And here, the vial states that after reconstitution, each mil contains 100 milligrams of vancomycin for IV use. This means that there is 100 milligrams of vancomycin in every one milliliter. So our final concentration after reconstitution simply becomes 100 milligrams per milliliter. Now the questions will start to get a little harder. Question number three is how many milliliters will the nurse administer for each dose? Here we'll have to use our volume to administer in milliliters equation, which can be found on my free drug calculation formulas worksheet. I'll place a link to that in the video description. So let's write out our formula. The volume to administer in milliliters is equal to the order in milligrams divided by the available in milligrams, all multiplied by the volume in milliliters. Now let's see if we can fill in all of our values for this formula. The order in milligrams comes straight from the doctor's order at the top, which is 500 milligrams. And for the available milligrams and the volume in milliliters, we can simply use our final concentration after reconstitution that we found in question number two. Remember, that's 100 milligrams per milliliter. This means that our available milligrams is 100 milligrams. And because it's 100 milligrams per every one milliliter, our volume in milliliters is simply one ml. Now that everything is plugged in, we can solve our formula. We have 500 milligrams divided by 100 milligrams multiplied by one milliliter, which gives us an answer of five milliliters. So for each dose, the nurse would administer five mils. And finally, question number four, how many mils will the patient receive in one day? So we already know from question number three that the patient will receive five mils for every dose. The only other thing that we need to know for this question is how many doses does the patient receive in one day? And to find that out, we simply look back at our doctor's order, which reads vancomycin 500 milligrams IV BID. What we're interested in here is the frequency, which is BID, or two times a day. This tells us that the patient will receive two doses each day. Now we can simply multiply the volume that the patient receives at each dose times the number of doses per day. So five mils per dose multiplied by two doses a day gives us an answer of 10 mils per day. And that's it for this question. Again, if you want to download my free drug calculation formulas worksheet, which has a few other useful formulas with example questions, I've placed a link to that in the video description. If you have any questions or would like me to do some more nursing math videos, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.